I'm going to demonstrate for you how to make uh, some seamless tossed repeat patterns using a traditional method. I'll start out with the pen tool here and for the for one of them here I'll put some black in here and I'll just make um, just a kind of a kind of a boomerang shape and close it and get my smooth tool and smooth it out there it is I love the smooth tool you can use the smooth tool or you can use the uh, arrow the white arrow with the plus so <clears throat> there it is and you can fill it okay usually then I use the uh, transform and I constrain it and I try to make it not bigger than an inch even even smaller because you can always make it larger later okay so there's one so there's a motif for one of the repeats now before I make the re repeats I'll make the other motif I'll take the pen tool again and I'll grab a, a red color and I'll kinda make this little right here and then I'll fill it with the red and I'll get the curve and we'll make a little you could make it a little apple but I'm gonna make this this is gonna be a little cherry okay so I have this little shape here that's the cherry and then I can take my pen tool again and grab this and now I'm drawing this on top but I can always put it to the back quite easily okay so I've got the green here and I would just go to my layer and put the stem behind and then I would <clears throat> smooth it probably the stem I could make the stem um, a dark color like this and if I want to move a certain point I would just use my white arrow kind of pull it out a little bit just like that and you can always go in close and then you can activate it and smooth it and your white air arrow gives you a little more control because you've also got those um, little handles now this I'm gonna convert this point so it's a straight point here in this corner and this corner here okay so now I'll put maybe a little leaf on it I'll select this and take this off and get my pen and take it over here move it in the back and smooth it out so I have a little cherry with a stem and a leaf and I'll take my little cherry and I'll grab it and I will do control G to group it I've got it linked and I don't want it any bigger than maybe a half inch so here it is so the first thing to do now this is my motif so I'll take my motif control C control V and I want to make my seamless repeat same thing over here control C control V okay so first we're gonna start with the box we have to think what is our repeat gonna be we'll try to make this maybe an inch by an inch 
okay and we'll have an outline on it temporarily now this should be in the back so I'm gonna move this in the back on it you gotta watch your layer palette so I have this frame single repeat frame in the back okay so I'm going to take this and it's an inch so I'm gonna take one of these control C control V and I'll take it around and just try to make a kind of a nice arrangement here and they should be kind of spinning around and you have to understand the first rule is you have to have the frame in the back and you have to watch your spacing anything that's going off the bottom of the frame will eventually be going over the top of the frame anything over the top will go over the bottom anything over the one side will go over the other side okay so we have to think our box is an inch so we take something that's uh, the width and the height are one inch that's easy to remember so I take this item that's going over the side I right click it and I go transform move horizontal an inch vertical nothing preview oh it's going the wrong way so I go horizontal minus preview and make a copy and group it control G I do the same thing for the top one I go move horizontal zero vertical I test an inch it's going down I make a copy I group it control G one more over here move horizontal zero vertical minus one preview and copy and group once you have the two items linked you can move them this can move see the two items are moving together these items are moving together okay this you can move any way you want because it's only one item and it's in the center you can move any way you want okay so now we're ready to make a repeat from this if I want a color in the background I will take here's my box this I'll put a color in it take off the stroke and then go control C control B for paste in the back the rule is in the back you have to have an unstroked unfilled box okay at this point you grab everything and you drag and you drop it in your swatch palette and then you test it out to see how it looks you test it out to see how the spacing looks there it is okay so now we're gonna do the same thing with the cherry with the cherry we're gonna take it and we're gonna make a box gonna make it one by one one by one and there it is and we're going to put a color on the border just so we see it and we're gonna put it in the very back over here and then we're gonna take the cherry control C control V the key is that you take them now when you're doing this sort of a design now if you go off the edge like this you have to have three cherries one going to the top and one going to the side okay so control V we have another one you can change sizes to and another one
I try to work in whole numbers. You can always change your single repeat size afterwards. Okay, so I'll go a little closer now. And this cherry here on the top needs to go one inch down, a second one. Horizontal zero, vertical one, preview, and copy, and control G for group. Okay, now I can move them together, okay? This one over here I need to make two. First I have to go move horizontal minus one vertical zero and copy over here it's okay that it's crashing and now I'll do another one above move horizontal zero vertical and copy so then I take all three and group them and and then now I can take these two because they work together and I can move them so they're not crashed. I can move this one because there's only one. And I can move this one here. Okay. Okay, so now I take this in the back. I can put a color in this if I want for a background like this or whatever color I want. Okay, take the stroke off. Now I have to have, I find it on the palette. I have to select it and go Control C, Control B and then make sure there's an unstroke, unfill box in the back and then grab everything and drag and drop it in the palette. Okay, and then make a box and fill it with your pattern to test your pattern. And there's your pattern. Now if I want to make out of this, okay, if I want to make it a different size, I can easily make it a different size. I select this pattern Okay, here is my unstroke, unfill box in the back. Control C, Control F. I put one in the very front. Okay, all the items are together now. I'll try clipping mask. Make. If clipping mask does not work, check your order on your layer palette or try the crop. A lot of times the crop works. I'll do undo clipping mask. The rule for cropping or clipping mask is you have to have an unstroke, unfilled box on the top. So that's why I made one and moved it to the top of the group. The rule for making a repeat pattern is you have to have an unstroke, unfilled box on the very bottom when you drag and drop it in the palette. So here's crop. Okay, so there's my single repeat. And once you have this single repeat, you could go to transform and now I could make it smaller. You can make your repeat whatever you want. So now my repeat is smaller and if I drag and drop it in the box then I can make a swatch and it's a different size. Okay, so I hope that helped. That's a traditional method of making a uh, seamless or a kind of a tossed little pattern.